Islam. Okay, let's start. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi surah li sadari wa yasir li amri. Wahlul uqdatan min lisani ya qahir hawli. Allahumma rabbana zidna ilman. Warzuqna fahman. Waj'alna min ashabir quran. Waj'alna min ibadika shalihin. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ahli Sayyidina Muhammad. Once again, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, we are here, me and Sister Salma, inshallah, other sisters um, will join us soon. So, the last session, we were talking about Jumlah Hadia. Uh, we made the notes, but unfortunately, I forgot where I set it. <laughs> I will search again one more time, inshallah. And then before Jumlah Hadia, we were talking about Jumlah Shartia. Uh, in particular part, in um, Talab, Wajabu Talab, there is something that um, Sister Saima pointed out. I would like to address this, uh, uh, this topic later when um, other sisters join in because um, better to have more people to discuss about this. Um, Okay, so for now, let's start with new topic. We have list here. Uh, what topic we should cover? So we did Jumlah Halia. Mm. Now we are we are going to talk about Hal, Tamiz, and Badr. Um, I made charts like this. Hopefully this is uh, good enough for our revision in this topic. Let's see. Um, hal and Sahibul Hal. So whenever you have Hal, you should looking for the Sahibul Hal. Hal means state or condition. Sahibul Hal means uh, somebody or something whose hal is. Okay. So there is side notes here. The difference between hal and sripa. Hal is alive, temporary, like a skin or egg. Uh, something that's taking place. For example, a child screaming. So this child not always screaming the whole his life, of course. That's why it is temporary. That's that's hard. But Shifa kind of dead, like permanent not in motion or not active. For example, a small child, a small child. So this child will, uh, you know, small. Um, of course, he will grow up, but you know, when you describe someone as, as small, it's not changed. Uh, okay, uh, now, he is small and one hour later he is big and one hour later he come back uh, smaller again. Not like that. So it's kind of permanent. That's the difference between Hal and Shifa. This is a side note. Now, uh, okay, we have some explanation here about the hal the hal of an egg or a masdar 
also called muf or mutlaq but does not necessarily translated as an emphasis it usually translated as adverb so most of the time hal is you know state or condition of an ism when it is hal of a fi'il that also called maf'ul mutlaq that's the first note and then we have how to translate hal we can translate a hal as adverb like have have li or an ing word for example crying or you can translate it as why or as this is a few ways to translate hal so do we have any uh, example in morphal mutlaq so hal is when comes with feel Yes, we do have. Um, I didn't put that here. Yeah, I should put here. For example, Nasarahullahu Nasran. So here Nasran is a half of Nasara. You give me a moment. Okay. Nasran is hal of Nasara, but we, we also can call this a mafoy mutla. So it means Allah. Allah help. Allah has him, Nasarahullahu, right? Yeah. Um, Nasran is a hal. Uh, mm -hmm. We can translate it as while helping or as helping or even only helping, ing word mm -hmm. or um, adverb, help, help, please, help, please, something like that. Uh, that's how you translate the hal like this. But when it is hal of a fi'il, um, you translate it as an adverb or emphasis. Is Nasara and Nasran is the same family, right? It comes always the same family, it's a mutlaq. Um, yeah, we can discuss that. Oh, sure. Oh. Um, before that, how do you translate this? So does this does this make sense in English? Allah help him help me. Um uh, it, yeah. to oh, make it please. Uh, mm -hmm. Better in English, like Allah helps him greatly. Mm -hmm. Like it's not only help, that's mm -hmm. the way it helps. 
I'm just asking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that or, or is that always come from same family? I would say uh, that's not uh, correct because mm -hmm. let's say sometimes you will you can use number like in Surah Kulmuk we discussed before. Um, mm -hmm. Which ayah is that? Turn, turn, turn your your vision again and again. Karota ini. What are you? Yang kab, yang kudu karota ini. Okay. Hmm. I will not make sure of that. Karota ini, karota ini. Ah, ayat number four. Yeah, so I will pull up the ayah so everyone can see. So marja'in basara karatain. Karatain. Yeah. So we have mok ayah number four. Come on. Okay, so karate ini, this is kind of number, ya, twice. Uh, but this is, can be a map or mutlak of irji'ain, irji'a. It's not always come uh, from the same family. This is for example. Uh, Karata ini not from the same family with RJ, but still this is uh, can be considered as mafol mutlak. Mm -hmm. And also. Where I find this? Yeah, Ustaz explain this in um, Suratul Mulk breakdown. Suratul Mulk. Let's see. Sometimes Ustaz explain it when students ask that question. So it's not. It's hard to find. Uh, there is something more about hal of Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Let's see our uh, usat hal. We are talking about um hal. Okay. Okay. I think double A. I want it to Dave, 
not here. Uh, let me see. D6. Aduh, itu serius banget. Not here. Ah, I forget. It is number something else. Number and Hmm. I Mag all mutlak x and plus three is to an act, but it also adds how to the act. It is kind of a half of the act, not a half of the door or the tail. When the how associated with the act itself. Uh, then it's actually mafol mutlak. Mafol mutlak can be very close to an adverb. For example, for example, <clears throat> remember Allah a lot. A lot is not a hal or state of you. Uh, so you ask, what state are you in? A lot. That's not an accent. Um, it's also not a hal of meaning it's not a hal of Allah for sure because Allah here is a mouth only he it's, a, it's actually a hal in a sense of remembering so a lot is referring to remember that's actually also considered as mafol mutlak so this is one more thing uh, that you can use with uh, as a mafol mutlak like the word a lot or or qalilan less qalilan mm. madhum that's good cool, yeah very little they are grateful so the frequency not the frequency like you know it's not always come from the same family kathiran mm. like qalilan and those kind of words can also be used as a mafon mutlak. Here. Mm -hmm. Oh, kanilan <laughs> is not even the mafon mutlak. It's a sifa of the mafon mutlak, which didn't have to be said. Oh, okay. Oh, this is different. Topic, I think, mafol mutlak. We should discuss about this in different um, topic, yeah, as a different topic. Oh, I, I, I believe I remember there is something, one more thing that can be used as uh, mafol mutlak. I cannot find that. Oh. But yeah, Ustad even gave example of that. I should find it later, inshallah. Okay, we should uh, delay the discussion of Mabul Mutlaq. Okay. We can discuss later. Come back to our discussion, Jumlah uh, uh, Hal. How to translate. Um, if it's a Hal of an act, it's also called Mahal Mutlaq. And then about sahibul hal. To find sahibul hal, ask yourself, who is in this state? So that's how you find sahibul hal. Mm -hmm. 
like in the surat mark word the birth above which i am again the birth above ah uh, here sofa yeah sofa tin wayak bitna this mm -hmm. is a call yeah so how to find the sahibul hal holes instead uh spreading and closing their wings mm -hmm. so the answer the birds the four mm -hmm. The birth or a fire is the sahibul hal. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense. A uh, human, <laughs> we, we are, mm -hmm. we even don't have wings, so it cannot be hal of human being. So it should be hal of a fire. Okay. And then you cannot find a sahibul sahibul hal inside the hal. Meaning, sahfatin wayakbidna is a hal. So inside yakbidna we have hunna. Or sahfatin ya. We we cannot say that hunna is the sahibul hal. Sahibul hal always outside the hal. You cannot find it inside the hal. And then um, a little bit challenging. Sahibul hal muawwal. When the sahibul hal is a fi'il, then the hal does not describe the fi'il, but describe the idea inside it. Uh, the idea inside uh, the act, meaning the masdar. How to understand this? I think this is talking about maf'ul mutlaq as well. Think when it's a fail, sahibul hal is a fail. Yeah, when sahibul hal is a fail, like in here, the example that we use, nasran is the hal. So the sahibul hal is nasara, right? But nasara means he helped. Right? That's in Nasara means. Mm. Oh, what it said here. The hal does not describe the fi'il, but it describes the idea inside it. So it's not described he helped. He described what the idea inside it, meaning what the master of Nasara is mm -hmm. Nasara, meaning to help. Mm -hmm. Helping. Like the idea of, of helping. How you help? Great. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So that's called. Uh, that means Saibul Hall is a 
not the person no not the idea that the, the idea, idea of help yeah or in arabic the idea is called masdar yes mm -hmm. So, so that's that's masdar inside nasoro is understood. Mm -hmm. uh, something that understood uh, called muawwal. So we call this sahibul hal muawwal. Okay. Yeah. Sahibul hal muawwal. This is happen with maf'ul mutlaq. Sister Salma, yeah, uh, is that okay with you? Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Alhamdulillah. And then one more thing can only appear in a complete sentence. So even if if you remove the hal, the sentence still complete. You you still have complete sentence. For example. Bilal left while crying. So while mm -hmm. crying is a hal. Mm -hmm. And if you remove the hal, we only have Bilal left. Bilal left is still a complete sentence. Mm -hmm. Hal only the addition, additional to the complete sentence. To remove it, we still have complete sentence. Okay. And how can appear in a few ways? It can happen as it can uh, appear as a single word, as a jumlah ismia, or in jumlah fi'liyah form. We have three main forms of hal. In a form of jumlah fi'liyah, in a form of jumlah ismia, in a form a single word. So we have different kind of word. Uh, I think this is word. This word here is referring to ism, meaning a single ism. Mm -hmm. And we have different kinds of ism. We have ism file, ism map, or ism sifa, ism mobile, and many things, many more. So the common ism that uh, Use as a hal, we can use ism fa'il, we can use ism maf'ol, we can use ism sifa, and masdar. Mm -hmm. Or ism, ism fa'il, ism maf'ol, ism sifa, masdar. Now, masdar, when you use masdar as a hal, that is extreme form of hal. Meaning like the same example again and again. So Nasran is masdar. So extreme um, hal. That's why greatly help. Or with great help. Mm -hmm. Because this is master, and then isem fa'il alternative for hal in fa'il ma'ruf, meaning what the example for isem fa'il. Can we have example, hal example in ism fa'il? We don't have that. Oh, oh, here, here we have example. 
Allamahumul Ustadu Jalisan. So Jalisan is Isam Fa'il. Okay. Mm-hmm. The meaning? Ustad taught them while sitting. Mm-hmm. Right? Alamahum Jalisan That's the meaning. Okay. This is Isam Fa'il. Now what it said here is that um, Isam Fa'il is alternative for how that is in feel active or feel from the first line. So, Jalisa, Jalison, watch the feel version. Jalasa? Jalasa. So, we can say. Alamahumul Ustadu Jalasa. That's the same. The alternative is Jalison. That's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what it said here. And then for Islam of all, uh, the alternative for Hal um, in the field form. From the second line. Let's see the example. Oh, they they use mudori, yeah. There is no example for example. Ah oh, no. There is some isam of all. There is no example for isam of all. Ah, I I I have. Ma 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 du bun. Ma ma du bun is someone who who is. Being scolded. It's a Gadiba mm-hmm. form, right? Gadiba Yaritibu. Yeah. Mauduban. Now, Mauduban is that so? Oh, sorry, Maudu, Maudu Bina. Maudu Bina. Una, Ina, Ina. 
Is How this uh, is this is an fool? Yeah, this one is is a fool. As a hal. Now, mm -hmm. whenever you have hal, you should look for sahibul hal. How to find it? What the question we should ask ourselves? Um, yeah. Who is instead of um, being scolded? Home, home is the uh, doing. Yeah. Home, home is a cyborg. Yeah. 